Okay, we're going to be here with Boxing Balance Ireland, and I'm here with the new 140 pound Celtic champion, BUI Celtic champion, Senan Kelly. Senan, um, it, it feels really nice for me to say that, like, do you know what I mean? Because uh, I know like the stuff that you've had to do to get here, like, and I know this, I know this isn't your ceiling, yeah. but still. Uh, <laughs> And I know it's not your ceiling, but it still is a mark of all the stuff that you've had to come through to get here, all the injuries and fall setbacks you've had. So it must be really nice for you. It's been a long hour out of highs, yeah, but it's only the start. It's a step in the right direction, we'll say. So, yeah, it feels nice finally getting rewarded for something. And it is a testament as well to lads on the island that if you roll the dice, like this, these are the rewards that can come your way. Like. Well, that was a good lad I just beat there. 11 and 1, Welsh champion. Do you know what I mean? I was six and all going into that fight. I'm seven and all now, so he had the experience on me. He's done a few ten rounders. That was my first time even boxing an eight rounder. Felt like I'd done all right. Still have to watch the fight back now. To be honest, I don't even fucking remember the fight. But uh, yeah, I feel like I'd done all right. Yeah. A lot of people in the boxing circuits thought this was going to be a really tough fight for you, and like you came in, and like even though you said it was a tough fight, like you did really win pretty much all the rounds, every single round, like, <coughs> and even though the rounds were competitive, like, you know, you still won every single one. For you, in training camp and all that, like, how has camp been for you for this, like? Like, I've been saying in every interview, and I've been saying the whole way through, that camp's been perfect, but, like, New Year's Day, or let's say the day before New Year's, I was about 72 or 73 kilos, went to get a hotel in town with my girlfriend just because I don't drink or anything so we just said we'll get a little hotel and have a little bit of dinner in town had a bad stomach bug puked for 48 hours I went from 72 kilos after I stopped getting sick I was down to 68.5 so really like it was a four week camp but what I've always said is I don't really see anything as camps because I'm just training every day like I'm just I'm training every fucking like with or without the fight I'm training so I don't really say I have an eight-week camp or this camp or that camp. It's just I zoned in for four weeks and that's what I was able to do. Give me eight weeks, you know, give me a real eight-week camp and then we'll go again. But, yeah, everything was perfect. The weigh-in was perfect, making weight, the rehydration, everything went to plan. But, like, we practice all these things and we know how we're going to do it all, so that's why it all goes to plan. It's not like we're guessing. Everything's down to numbers and, yeah, you can see it, you know. You were here pretty early, I saw you obviously getting ahead of the taxi and uh, you know, you seem fairly calm but <clears throat> the build up to the fight like here and you taking a few minutes to yourself, um, is the win for you kind of like more relief than anything like to just to prove to yourself that you can win the title now and now you can push on like? Not really, I knew I was going to win already like, yeah. like, like I already see myself as the Irish champion so like I know I'm going to win that fight too, like I see myself as number one in everything so just going out and prove it that's all I have to do I came in here calm as fuck got a bit of nerves when I was getting my hands wrapped but that's what I want I want to get them nerves when I'm getting my hands wrapped like I want to kind of just wake myself up just at the right time because like if you're nervous before that you're kind of burning a little bit too much energy expending energy that you shouldn't have where the nerves hit me just at the right time and you could see it like I performed very well and I think everything just went perfectly really like after like the like you told me that the, the injuries you had with your shoulder and stuff and the money that you spent on on rehabilitation, um, and now that you got the belt, you seem like for me talking to you now, it seems like you're just you're ready to for all of it now. You're ready for all the fights now. And, uh, yeah, like to be honest, my shoulder pops out once or twice a week, but it's grand. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm grand with it, and it's always been grand the whole way through, and everything's just gone perfectly now. And I'd say it's a big thanks to this man here. He's paving the way for Irish boxing at the moment. He's given me the opportunities, and I'm going to keep on, keep on winning and keep on, yeah, getting more belts. Uh, Jay, um, I suppose the best way of saying it is that this is the way Irish boxers should be. You roll the dice, and these are the rewards you get. Yeah, this is a great fight. You know, compare this interview to the last interview. I've told you all, I won't beat around the bush. I tell you as it is, I told him that night. He told us, he told everyone else he wasn't good enough, he wasn't good enough that night. We knew what we had to do, we done it. He didn't get an easy opponent. I'm disgusted with the first three fights on the card tonight, but that's another conversation. But that last fight, to me, was the best Celtic title performance Ireland has seen against the toughest opponent in Ireland for the Celtic title. And look that's a big thing to say, because you're putting, he's putting you ahead of his fight with Jared Whitehouse. <laughs> yeah, well, I, Jay, that, Jake Tinklin brought a lot more to the table than Jared Whitehouse did. 
Simple. I hit Jared Whitehouse with one good clean shot and he didn't want to get back up. Senna hit that guy with everything tonight and he didn't go away. And he had sent, sent him everything. That was, a, that was a proper, that was a real domestic dust up. Okay, he was Welsh. But to me, Senna's night, I told Senna for weeks, this is your night. I've built this night for you. Just go and do your thing. And at the end of the night, I said to him, before he got to the ring, this is your night. And when he's getting out of the ring, I said, that was your night. Yeah. And it was, I'm delighted for him. Yeah. Absolutely over the moon. And I think people are delighted for Senna as well because for all the things that he's had with his injuries and that and still he wants a 50-50 fight and a fight like a lot of people thought he might you know thought Timlin was very very strong like and he still put himself in there and took the opportunity that you gave to him and I think that's why the win is all that the more better because people appreciate him taking a gamble him taking a gamble him putting himself in that position and headlining and winning the word gamble keeps getting said Kieran. it's a title fight yeah. If a title fight's not a gamble, it's not really a title fight. What title fight's not a gamble? These, bringing in these idiots, you know, looking at, I'm looking at some of the Celtic title fights. I, the, the opponents that I was getting refused for sending. I was looking at lads on box rec fighting for Celtic titles with ridiculous records. A title fight is a 50-50 fight, because it's a title fight. So it's not a gamble. It's time. He's, what, 6-0? 7-0 now. He was 6-0. If you're not ready, when are you going to be ready? And Glenn, Matthew, Ushin, Shane, all the boys, when they're 5-6-0, they'll be doing the exact same thing. Because it's not gambles, it's time. Your time. Are you ready to step up? If, you, if you're not, you're not. Then you decide where you go. But that man tonight showed he is ready. And his Irish title fight, once I can get it approved by the BUI, was also agreed tonight. Hand shook, deal done. So if we can get that on now in May, that Irish title fight is happening. I just have to make sure the BUI approve and I won't announce the name until the BUI approve it because that's the way it has to be done. Everything has to be done accordingly. But in my opinion, the two boys that have agreed to the Celtic title fight deserve it. Their records are, geez, I think 16 and 0 or 16 and 1 or there, they're about 17 and 1. So, yeah, in my opinion, he'll take a break now, um, relax, unwind, and he'll go into a camp down for a 10 round Irish title fight next if, I, if it's approved by the Boxing Union of Ireland. Right. Um, I don't know if one of you can say uh, in around timeline because obviously you've got shows, loads of shows built up. So May, May, May. May. Uh, I presume Dublin, yeah. Dublin, yeah. Dublin, yeah, yeah. Dublin, and he won't have to bring in someone from another country. And pay it'd, be, it'd be Irish, yeah, yeah. Because it was the purse for that night was probably was nearly as big as any purse I ever earned. Well, testament to him. He took it because he knows we we discussed this. This isn't just a ah uh, for him and. It wasn't that I just went and picked Jay Tinklin and he was the only one, you know, or he was the one I really went after. We went after everybody and we couldn't get anybody. So we had to go across the water and we had to go to Spain and that. And we had a couple of others and I, I thought Jake was the proper fight for him. I just thought he was the proper fight and financially he was better priced than some of the others, but I thought he was the... I thought it was going to be the best out in Senna and I thought it was going to excel him on to the next level of his career. And thankfully, but me taking the gamble and me rolling the dice on that one, he done the rest. So I'm, I'm just so proud of him. He's yeah. the first title we have in our stable now um, that we've won, that we've brought into the stable. And very, 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 very proud moment. It's, one of, it's, it's, my, proudest, it's my proudest moment since I've become a manager and a uh, promoter. I have to say, now, and no better, nicer fella for it to happen to as well. I think everyone's just so happy, like, um, and obviously testament to both of you is because you both have a very similar attitude in terms of, yeah, it's a 50 fight, of course, I'm going to take the fight, like, uh, very much like you had your career in. But, um, Senan, obviously, it takes two people, testament to Jay as well, who, you, you know, you had your injuries, you had the fights that you had that pulled out, and it must be nice now that you have a plan and it's all going according to the way you see it. Ah, finally. It's been a hard road to get to here, but yeah, we're moving in the right direction and it's all just coming, you know. And everything he said is coming to fruition. And that's the thing, yeah, yeah, you know. The it's no the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, you know. Uh, you must be excited for the future now. Oh, I'm buzzing. I have a bit of a headache right now, but other than that, yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking buzzing. I am, yeah, in a good position right now. <laughs> um, Jay, anything else to say on it? Uh, You've got. I know you got your show again here in March, and then April is uh, Belfast. Yeah, March first here, March eight here, Belfast is April sixth. Um, March first car, March first card is done. March eight card starts this week. The building starts for that. Belfast is a few on it already. Um, no, I'm delighted. Again, it's his night. I'm just delighted for him. I've been in that position. Remember that. I know what it's like to win that belt. 
and it was a bit as a proudest moment in my boxing career winning that belt was and tonight in my managerial career that's my proudest moment so that belt people think that uh, there was words of that being a Mickey Mouse belt and it's a nothing belt that belt my proudest moment in my career and proudest moment in my manager career so that belt to me means an awful lot because it's the first belt of money and it also makes them ready for the Irish title might be uh, Jay's favourite just for the moment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, well, look, I want to say thanks to both you. Uh, sounding well done. As again, as I just said, I'm really, really happy for you. Like. And Jay, thanks again for a good, great night of boxing. And uh, hopefully we'll see an Irish title fight being announced very, very soon. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks very much for coming, Kieran. As always, thanks for the support. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Thanks. Sorry for keeping it.